think this is hard? Try being waterboarded. That's hard. You think this is hard? I'm living with hepatitis. That's hard. I try and coach. This is really hard. You think this is hard? Try auditioning for Baywatch and being told that they're going in another direction. That was hard. Hit the showers. Dick's coat. <laughs> That's sloppy! You're sloppy, babies! It's just disgraceful! Iron tablet? Uh, Keeps your strength up while you're menstruating. I don't menstruate. Yeah? Neither do I. <laughs> That copy machine is for Cheerios use only. Pay a second, Sue. I resent being told to hold on to anything, William. I will not be treated like a second class citizen because of my gender. When I first laid eyes on you, I was reminded of a young Sue Sylvester. Though you don't have my bone structure. We're going to bring this club down from within. <laughs> and I'm going to get my boyfriend back. You don't care so much about that. <laughs> oh, I love a car wash too, though, you know? When I was little, if I got all A's, my dad would let me wash his car, so I'd get my little toothbrush out and I'd clean it all weekend long. You know, the way you use your mental illness to help these kids is really inspiring. And I'm shocked you're not married. Uh, this is what we call a total disaster, ladies. I'm going to ask you to smell your armpits. That's the smell of failure, and it's stinking up my office. I'm revoking your tanning privileges for the rest of the semester. Oh, no! Miss Sylvester, I want to thank you. For what? For teaching me a valuable life lesson. When you really believe in yourself, you don't have to bring other people down. Caning works. And I think it's about time we did a little more of it right here. And to all those naysayers out there who say that's illegal, you can't strike children on their bare buttocks with razor sharp bamboo sticks. Well, to them I say, yes, we cane. And that's how Sue sees it. But I will not rest until every inch of our fair state is covered in garbage. That's why I pay taxes. He keeps garbage men earning a living so they can afford tacos for their family. Cool. Take a look at this. Vascular embolisms are a serious hazard on long distance flights, so make sure to stretch your legs every hour to keep blood from clotting. For additional protection, anti embolism stockings can be purchased from your flight attendants. Or Yadrakhe, Mumbai Airline, Kavi Crash Naker. Well, I would hate to think of this video circulating around the school. Better yet, you two. Sue Sylvester's not afraid to shake things up. You know something, Ohio? It's not easy to break out of your comfort zone. People will tear you down, tell you you shouldn't have bothered in the first place. But let me tell you something. There's not much of a difference between a stadium full of cheering fans and an angry crowd screaming abuse at you. They're both just making a lot of noise. How you take it is up to you. Convince yourself they're cheering for you. You do that, and someday they will. And that's how Sue sees it. Every week, I pick someone at random and I kick them out. Dear Journal, feeling listless again today. It began at dawn when I tried to make a smoothie out of beef bones, breaking my juicer. It was unmistakable. It was like spotting the first spark on the Hindenburg. A quiver. That quiver will lose us nationals. And without a championship, I'll lose my endorsements. And without those endorsements, I won't be able to buy my hovercraft. Here I am, about to turn 30. 
We happen to have an opening. Our school nurse, Mrs. Lancaster, is in a coma. Oh, she took a terrible tumble down the stairwell yesterday. But I'm well, well, I think opinion... we... No, go ahead. No, you. Okay. Please. Principal Figgins, uh, things couldn't be going more smoothly. I couldn't agree more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and no pitting the kids against one another. Never. I want to pit these kids against one another. Am I clear? Quinn, update, go. I will destroy you. I'm about to vomit down your back. It's on. Ladies' choice. Heads. Trickster's trick store. This is Sue Sylvester. You got any of those double-headed coins? Heads. When you hear your name called, cross over to my side of this black shiny thing. That's called a piano, Sue. Santana! Wheels! Gay kid! Come on, move it! Asian! Other Asian! Aretha! And Shaft. See, Will, I don't want to participate in a group that ignores the needs of minority students. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, I wouldn't kid about this, Will. And maybe that's your problem. Bigotry is no laughing matter. And that's how Sue sees it. Outstanding. Sometimes people ask me, Sue, how come you're so sensitive to minorities? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I know firsthand how hard it is to struggle as a minority in America today. I'm 116th Comanche Indian. In fact, I like minorities so much, I'm thinking of moving to California to become one. Cockfight. Fantastic. No. We are here for these students, so whatever problems we have with one another, we're going to get them out in the open right now. Okay, you want to get real? You're right, Will. I have been trying to destroy your club with a conviction I can only call religious. And you want to know why? Because I don't trust a man with curly hair. I can't help picturing small birds laying sulfurous eggs in there, and I find it disgusting. All your readers need to know, I'm all about empowerment. I empower my Cheerios to live in a state of constant fear by creating an environment of irrational, random terror. Speaking of which, Q, here, now! Where are my Cheerios? Coach Sylvester, they're not academically eligible. Mr. Schuster flunked them. Since 1992, 95% of your Cheerios should have flunked Spanish, and I, for one, am not going to be a part of it anymore. Oh, Will, we all know about your devotion to that dying language. Dying language. Let me break this down for you, okay? I empower my Cheerios to be champions. Do they go on to college? I don't know. I don't care. Should they learn Spanish? Sure, if they want to become dishwashers and gardeners, but if they want to be bankers and lawyers and captains of industry, the most important lesson they could possibly learn is how to do a round off. She is deranged. You know, this all happened on your watch. You have allowed this to go on for years. Say something! Oh, please. Oh, okay. Sue, Will is correct. You're wrong. Thank you. From now on, no free passes. That's it. There. See you in Glee Club, Sue. Don't. Touch me. That is a lawsuit, mister! I will sue your ass! What happened to our little agreement, huh? Will I be uploading a certain video to YouTube this afternoon? Anti-embolism stockings can be purchased. Oh, Sue, I put it on YouTube myself, and it only got two hits. Let me break it down for you. Nobody cares! <laughs> 